Task 1, you should spend about 20 minutes on this task. Your English friend, Tom, came to visit you recently and he has sent you a letter and some photographs. Read part of his letter. I really enjoyed staying with you. Here are the photos I took. Which one do you like best? When I got home, I realized I'd left my watch behind. It's green and gold. You haven't found it, have you? I think we'll have a great time together when you come here in September. We could either spend the whole time in my family's flat in the city or stay on my uncle's farm in the countryside. Which would you like to do? Write a letter responding to him. You should write at least 120 words. You are not allowed to include your name. Answer. Dear Tom. I am very happy to get your email. How are you going? I hope you are well. When I took you to the airport, I went home and I was not tired but I was a little sad. I miss the activities when we were together. I saw some photographs that you sent me, they're nice. When I look at the photographs I remember we had many anniversaries together. I like the photographs very much. Your watch was on the sofa in my living room. When I come to your country I'll give you. I'll come to your country in September. I want to meet your family in the city then we stay uncle's farm in the countryside. I don't want to stay in your family's flat in the city. Because it's very noisy and animated. Could you take me to some nice places in the countryside? I like going to walk through the fields and breathe fresh air. I am looking forward to meeting you in your country soon. Love. Linda. Listen again. Answer. Dear Tom. I am very happy to get your email. How are you going? I hope you are well. When I took you to the airport, I went home and I was not tired but I was a little sad. I miss the activities when we were together. I saw some photographs that you sent me, they're nice. When I look at the photographs I remember we had many anniversaries together. I like the photographs very much. Your watch was on the sofa in my living room. When I come to your country I'll give you. I'll come to your country in September. I want to meet your family in the city then we stay uncle's farm in the countryside. I don't want to stay in your family's flat in the city. Because it's very noisy and animated. Could you take me to some nice places in the countryside? I like going to walk through the fields and breathe fresh air. I am looking forward to meeting you in your country soon. Love. Linda. Task 2, you should spend about 40 minutes on this task. There is a big number of people who wish to live in big cities. Write an essay to an educated reader to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of living in big cities. Include reasons and any relevant examples to support your answer. You should write at least 250 words. Your response will be evaluated in terms of task fulfillment, organization, vocabulary, and grammar. Answer. It is the fact that, there is an increasing number of people who rush to big cities to live and work while others decide to move to the countryside nowadays. In this essay, I am going to discuss the good things and bad things we have in big cities. On the one hand, living in such a big city has a lot of advantages. There is a big offer how to spend free time. There are a lot of theaters, concerts and other ways of entertainment. There is always a lot to do and visit. There are a lot of possibilities of shopping. In various shopping centers and galleries, you can buy whatever you want. In addition, there are a lot of working places in a city. Many big international companies have their locations in the cities, so it is much easier to find a job in a big city. On the other hand, there are some disadvantages of living in a big city. Cities are very crowded with people and plenty of vehicles such as buses, cars, motorbikes and so on. Traffic jams are common seen at peak hours, which not only wastes time but annoys people. In addition, pollution in cities is another big problem. The air is filled with smoke and dirt from various kinds of vehicles while there are almost no trees. What we can see here are tall buildings. What's more? The noise is non-stop from early morning till midnight. Crime and unemployment rates are considered much higher than those in the countryside. To sum up, 
there are both benefits and drawbacks of living in big cities. The decision whether to live in big cities or in the countryside depends on our priorities. Personally, I believe that living here is more beneficial for me as I have a good job in a foreign company and my children can study in the best school in the country. Listen again. Answer. It is the fact that, there is an increasing number of people who rush to big cities to live and work while others decide to move to the countryside nowadays. In this essay, I am going to discuss the good things and bad things we have in big cities. On the one hand, living in such a big city has a lot of advantages. There is a big offer how to spend free time. There are a lot of theaters, concerts and other ways of entertainment. There is always a lot to do and visit. There are a lot of possibilities of shopping. In various shopping centers and galleries, you can buy whatever you want. In addition, there are a lot of working places in a city. Many big international companies have their locations in the cities, so it is much easier to find a job in a big city. On the other hand, there are some disadvantages of living in a big city. Cities are very crowded with people and plenty of vehicles such as buses, cars, motorbikes and so on. Traffic jams are common seen at peak hours, which not only wastes time but annoys people. In addition, pollution in cities is another big problem. The air is filled with smoke and dirt from various kinds of vehicles while there are almost no trees. What we can see here are tall buildings. What's more? The noise is non-stop from early morning till midnight. Crime and unemployment rates are considered much higher than those in the countryside. To sum up, there are both benefits and drawbacks of living in big cities. The decision whether to live in big cities or in the countryside depends on our priorities. Personally, I believe that living here is more beneficial for me as I have a good job in a foreign company and my children can study in the best school in the country.